I'm here. My name is Salim. I'm your host tonight, and uh, we are here with the maestro A. R. Rahman. It's his birthday, so please wish him, guys. Happy birthday, Rahman. Thank you. Really happy to be here, uh, chatting with you uh, on your birthday, and uh, I'd like to thank the Facebook team, uh, the live Facebook team, and uh, you know, the Qki team uh, to make this possible. Uh, There's a lot of, you know, this is this has never happened, you know, where at, at least when I'm concerned. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's it's been it's a great uh, thing they've set up here. So, uh, and I'm very happy to be here to chat with you. Welcome um, to Chennai. <laughs> thank you. Um, there is a, uh, a lot of people who've sent a lot of good wishes and you know a lot of uh, birthday wishes to you, and uh, a lot of people have a lot of questions and they mm -hmm. all know that this is a live chat. Uh, but before we get onto that, I thought I'll ask you a couple of questions because it's been a long time we've chatted. Sure. And <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's it's really nice that I, I get this opportunity to you know do this to mm -hmm. host it on your birthday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was, I was thinking these days uh, when you compose a song, um, you compose a song like, uh, when you compose a song like Kahna Hi Kya or Chup Ke Se, those are some of my favorite songs. Okay. Uh, do you compose them and then think like, oh, I've done this before mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, let me try something else or do you nurture them and do you progress with them, you know, when you compose songs like you've done before, mm. your first attempt on the piano when you write a song and you, you know that this is, this is special, this is very AR. Mm, I uh, never think like that. Mm. Um, I think there is a, it's a kind of a vibration where you feel uh, you're in that spot mm -hmm. of, of melody and uh, it's, I think, mainly be because of the inspiration of what the script is doing mm. or, you know, the character or the artist or uh, what it's doing or lyric. So, that actually inspires the whole thing right. and uh, and things keep changing, you know, mm. every decade things are changing. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and I was actually listening to some of the stuff, old stuff mm. uh, a week back. Mm. Suddenly, somebody had it on an MP3 and I was listening to it. And I felt like the many things have changed for the good now. Right. That what what's happening now, but the clutter is so much hmm. that people are not that calm and that's not right. focused to what they're listening. Hmm. It's a nostalgia attached to many yeah. things. And uh, but there is an inner conscience in me which says this is happening. Hmm. It's got something. Hmm. And and those things are always surface up. You know, right. Like sure. Like if you take Mungil Kada, Mungil mm. Totem from Kadal, mm -hmm. it's a Tamil song. Right. But right. Uh, when we did it, I didn't even notice that it's a good tune. Correct. It was actually an alternate for Nanjikule. Mm -hmm. But uh, Maniji took that tune and he said, mm. "I need. Can we make one more song out of this tune?" Beautiful. Nice. And it was a very unpredictable tune, mm -hmm. and the progression was going on. And when I heard it, with, once he approved it and heard it, I, I really totally loved it. And then we. We didn't have the lyric writer. He went to Vairamuthu, went to hmm. Kodikanal for a holiday. Okay. But we were we had this urge to finish it, mm -hmm. and uh, so we took one of his book, opened it, and there was Mungil Dutta. <laughs> oh wow! What, what he had already written, I and see. it fell into place. Beautiful. And then when I did it, I felt that there's some kind of magic in this tune, so let's go fully into it. Right. And the song was done. And you have an amazing connect with uh, Mani sir, like you. Um, some of your best work definitely is uh, is some of it is more. I mean, most of it actually is is Mani sir's uh, movies. I think it's like um, you know when you start, it's like a home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I was lucky to get the best as right. uh, a friend, a mentor, mm -hmm. and right. even now I think we we have a, we have a kind of rapport. Amazing. Yeah, and uh, it's beyond uh, material means and everything. You you want it's kind of like affection, which is sure. Like each, I think each composer has that. Of course, one, a connection one with, yeah. with filmmaker. Yeah. Sure. Um, almost everyone is inspired by you, Rahman. Oh. Everyone. You in know a good that. way. <laughs> of course, in a good way. I mean, you know, musicians, listeners, 
composers, singers, uh, to, an, to an extent that <coughs> some composers literally are emulating your sound and you know you kind of borderline copying you, uh, you know but in a good way like yeah, yeah, yeah. they are very inspired by your sound and your style and your composition. Yeah, I think it used to happen now I feel like they are finding their own sound. Mm -hmm. They are finding their own sound and many, many people I am pretty no, thrilled. That is nice of you to say that. It is true and, and it is uh, consciously going away from things which could be like sounding like me mm. and uh, so that is a good thing. I feel very, very good when I hear that from people uh, right. when I hear some stuff and, mm. and I am a big fan of your Shukran Allah. Oh, thank you. I was, I think, uh, I was going somewhere to my home in Pawai. Mm -hmm. And suddenly this came in at a very down moment. Oh. It was very, very pleasing. Thank you so I much. I think I called you immediately. Yes, you did. You did. I, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like somebody asked me uh, just yesterday that why don't you make more music like Qurban. And uh, so I'm, I mean, I, I, I didn't have any answer because there's so mm. many. I could have uh, told him a story, you know. Uh, and so then, you know, it struck me that when I'm coming tomorrow to Chennai that I'd ask you the same question that, you know, why... I'm sure you, you when you, you compose a song like you know you, you must be thinking like you know I want to do a movie like Bombay again I want to do want to do a movie like no it should not it should not because it's hmm. it's very tempting to do that but, right. that's, but the moment you do that people are going to say ah it sounds like that. but Rahman don't you think your fans your I mean yeah. all of us actually want a kahna hi kya want a yeah. roja want it'll a come I think when, when I think things have changed right who is going to the theaters anymore. You're right, but people. <laughs> who's sitting but for? People's, people. Who's writing a story like that anymore? It's sure, you're right. And whenever you, when you just pause for a moment, mm. people are getting up. So you're constantly, you have yeah, to in the screenplay, change. you have to attack four different things at the same time. Otherwise, he's going to tweet, he's going to do something. He's not engaged. <laughs> Engagement in a movie is more important. But What's you, that? I don't think you can have a song where like Can I Get and, mm. and people are going to sit and watch that movie. Mm -hmm. That's very. That's. I that's feel. A, I don't know. Unless it's a super brilliant screenplay. Where but there are people, Rahman, in this in this world who want to listen. to Yeah, but then it should be an silence. album. It can't be a song and a movie anymore. I feel. Really. That's what I feel. Yeah. You're. I mean, I, I'm really. Uh, yeah. It's. You're. You're right. You're absolutely that right. That phase of time. But I think. That phase of time. When I did Kena Kiya, I said, nobody composes like Naushad Saab, Madhmo, and right. you know. That phase, because that phase of time required that beauty, beauty in the music. Sure. Not that music should not have beauty anymore. Mm. It's, it's a different kind of beauty. Sure. <laughs> Things yeah. have, if you don't move on, that's it. You'll be wiped out. Yeah. And so people are, and that moves on to my next question, yeah, which sure. is, uh, people are really, um, you know, these days. There's a lot of EDM culture yeah. which is, you know, brewing, and a lot of movies are having that sound now. Yeah. And uh, I think it's a bit over, overloaded and. Yeah, what uh, is your take on it? What like do you like? I like it, but it's not worth just that on TV. <laughs> huh? Right. There's mm. so much of beauty in Indian music. There's so much sure. beauty in melodies, which yeah, I think which it's not a, it's more commercially driven mm -hmm. because the company wants something like that, a dance track, or mm. maybe I don't know who's to be blamed. <laughs> yeah, but I think. But I feel for me, for my audiences, I think they don't want something like that for me. I feel like what I feel is that. When I do an English album, yes, maybe. But in India, I think they expect something uh, more rooted and uh, not rooted. I would say like something which what Urosi did that time, mm -hmm. which okay. was completely from different from right. what was happening mainstream. Right, like my own route. Yeah, or like Tiruda Tiruda for that matter. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, I I love that song by the way. It's, it's such a. Um, it was it a was face. A, <laughs> huh? It was. I mean, that whole album was phenomenal. Yeah. Tiruda. Um, all right, let's move on to some of the fans. Um, uh, there's Sujata Raja Gopal who wants to know which is the most difficult song that you ever composed, and what's the possibility to win the Oscar this year? Oh, well, that's so two let's questions. Have, let's two questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the many songs which. Uh, it's not difficult because it's difficult. It's difficult because I might be in a phase in my life which won't coincide with what we read. Mm -hmm. I may be too sad. 
um, but it requires an EDM track <laughs> or I would be too happy <laughs> to do a very sad track. It's a good one. So I think in a way we all learn to compartmentalize our brain to say mm. that personal life is separate, your creative life is separate and you should. So in many cases, every movie I think has one. Right. But it happens some, you know, most of the time that happens. And I... What are the possibilities to win an Oscar? Yeah. I don't even know. Uh, if ever we get nominated, there's one nomination or whatever next week, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a possibility, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. At DT Cinema wants to know, which younger generation music director is very promising in your opinion? Uh, I think all of them who come out now are, are really, really good. They are very, um, they have a, the vision. Like you take Amit Tarvedi or Sachin, uh, you take uh, Santosh Narayan from Sachin Jigar. Yeah. yeah. Santosh, um, I think they all have, it's about the consistency, how, how we all get burnt out and what keeps us regenerating. Right. I think the learning keeps us regenerating. That's right. the clue I would say. If you keep learning, I think we yeah. all can survive yeah, they say and go you. in deep, in depth to, to music. Mm -hmm. that's and that's the frustrating thing. <laughs> you, yeah. How old you become, you feel like you don't know anything. Right. And there's so much to learn.